Hello, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to return a defective item in Best Buy. The first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your Best Buy account, which of course I have done right here. Now, it's interesting to know that Best Buy is an American multinational consumer electronics retailer that leverages its unique combination of tech expertise and human touch to meet its consumers' needs. Best Buy sells consumer electronics and a variety of related merchandise, including software. So now that we know a bit of what Best Buy is about, let's quickly hop into today's tax, which is how to return a defective item in Best Buy. How do you do that? The first thing I'd like you to do is to head over to the top right corner of the screen where you have this high app your name. Now click on the drop down menu, it's going to take you to an extended menu. Now in here, go ahead and click on purchases and it's going to take you to the purchases window. From here, you're going to see a list of orders that you've made so far. So select the order that you want. And once you select the order that you want, I'm going to show you how you can return a defective item because the item that you ordered is defective. Scroll the way down, you're going to find returns and exchange. And that is going to take me to a window where I'm going to explain how you can initiate your return. So you can, number one, return it to a store and number two, ship it back to Best Buy. Here is how you can return it to a store. Now, you may return any item purchased on Best Buy, in this case, defective item, at any Best Buy store. For faster return processing, please bring your packaging slip if you received one uh, or your receipt, and then the credit card used to make your purchase, and of course, a valid photo ID. And then, if you want to use the prepaid return label, you will get free shipping on your return by using the PP label. That's a plus. So log into your Best Buy account and locate your order. That's where we went to. And print the PP shipping label. Now put the return label in the package and take it to an authorized UPS drop of location and ship it to Best Buy during your return. So number one, I'm going to show you two things. How to find the store number one and how to print your prepaid shipping label. Now, number one, click on find a store so that you can find your store or other stores where you can return your item so this is your store sterling okay you can click on store details for you to know more about it but then this is the address all right so this is the address so don't forget take your package and slip along with you your receipt the credit card is to make the purchase and valid for the id so the next is take it to this location or other locations here that you can even easily make your store by clicking on this make this your store button so the next thing is how can you print a prepaid shipping label so i'm going to take you to the best buy so this will back to best buy the top corner of the screen go ahead and click on hi amanda but let's not really go to my you know the process that it took us to get to the purchases window so let's just go right again so click on hi amanda and So go ahead and click on purchases. Okay, let's buy it for security conscious. So we're back to the purchases window. So in here, select the order that you want to cancel. Once you click on that, at the top corner of your item, you're going to find the order number. Now click on the order number, and that's going to take you to the order details page. Once you get into the order details page, you're going to see an option for you to print your prepaid label. All right, so go ahead and select the prepaid label and follow through the processes to print your label. Now, after printing your label, this is what you're going to do. After printing, so put the return label, that's your prepaid return label. After printing it, using that option, put the return label on the package and take it to an authorized UPS drop off location and ship it back to Best Buy. So that's pretty much how you can return uh, a defective item in Best Buy. I can go about the tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps. And of course, once you're done, you'll be good to go. I hope this tutorial marvelously helped you search.